In this video, we're going to discuss uh, tissue repair. We're, well, we're going to discuss, start the topic of tissue repair. It's a very long, lengthy process. So we're going to start this video by talking about regeneration, healing, and fibrosis. So let's say you have a liver here. That's supposed to be a liver. <laughs> and there are cells made up. There are liver cells, hepatocytes, that make up this liver. And it goes on and on and on and on. And let's say for some reason uh, there's, you know, some kind of problem where these cells are deleted. And now there's only this mark. Well, this part right here, let's say chronic inflammation happens, acute inflammation happens, um, ischemia happens, some, some toxic drugs get in your liver and start eating away, um, this liver necrosis happens. Well, this liver this liver is missing a part of itself. So what will happen is that you know the cells, the these cells right here, are going to notice that they're at the end now, and they're going to be like, "This ain't right." So they're going to initiate a cascade of tissue repair, and you know these cells are going to try to repair themselves. So if the cells, if these cells can divide and repair themselves, then they then they will um, try to, they'll, you know, go through the cell process of division and they'll divide and they'll try to regrow the architecture of this organ. Same thing in all parts of our body. After there's some damage, if the cells can divide, they'll try to rebuild that architecture and they'll undergo regeneration. <clears throat> There's another part, uh, let's say that these cells, um, you know, for example, these cells can't divide. So, example, can't divide, or they can't regenerate. Then uh, healing occurs. Healing and fibrosis occurs. These kind of work together, if you will. And separately, but they're they're not mutually exclusive. But usually they work together. And in the case of pathology, is concerned, healing um, means fibroblasts. These cells that are called um, fibroblasts. What they'll do is they'll be recruited to the area. And they'll start laying down, this is the example that they can't divide, but then they'll start laying down just, you know, a mess of collagen and, and you know, scar tissue. And this process is called fibrosis. So they'll start just laying down a mess of this collagen to try to maintain its structure and you know may, maybe try to fill in this gap here and may, maintain its architecture and you lose you lose some function when you have fibrosis um, happening you lose some function in the area and in the case of regeneration where these so regeneration Let's see here. Is the example cells divide function and shape? I'll just put almost maintained. That that's all equal to or almost equal to not a hundred percent, but you know, let's maybe say ninety nine percent of the time, or most of the time is probably the best way to say it. Most of the time is maintained. 
So in regeneration, you know, these cells divide. Most of the time, the function and the shape um, is maintained. In the case of healing and fibrosis, these fibroblasts come in and they start laying down this uh, matrix, if you will, the scar tissue, and they, they, you lose some function when this happens because you don't have the normal cells that are working together and the architecture is altered and these fibroblasts. And we're going to talk about um, in later videos how, how well this is, how strong it is, how these scars are, and, and different things. So we will, we will talk about, we will talk about that later. So that's it. In the next few videos, we're going to be talking about tissue repair, regeneration, healing, and fibrosis, and all the intricate details that have to do with when any your when any part of your body gets injured after you know inflammation or some kind of injurious. Um, you know, stimuli to the tissues. How do these tissues repair? That's what that's our topic going to be for the next few videos. We'll see you in the next video.